You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, black and white sports fans, we're going to be talking about 76ers head coach Glenn Doc Rivers. He seems to be in trouble again in the playoffs. This man has blown a 3 1 lead a record three times. He's the only coach in NBA history to blow a 3 1 lead more than one time. Now, we know what happened to the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals with Steve Kerr. It only happened to him one time. But Doc Rivers, man, he seems to blow uh, series leads in epic proportions. And now, guys, the 76ers, they may actually make history again with Doc Rivers at the helm. They were up 3-0 in their series. And now, guys, they blew the last two games. And they have to go on the road. And play again. So they can theoretically the series could be tied up after tomorrow night. Three to three. Well, Doc Rivers is now making excuses for his. NBA playoff collapses. Yes, an NBA coach is making excuses, folks, not owning up to it. So let's dive into this over here on ESPN. Doc Rivers, Philadelphia 76ers fighting history of past playoff collapses. The Philadelphia 76ers practice here Wednesday morning ahead of a return to Toronto for game six of the Eastern Conference first round playoff series against the Raptors on Thursday night. Halfway to what would be an unprecedented collapse after taking a 3-0 lead in the best of seven series. This team, a Doc Rivers team, up 3-0 and they have lost two straight games. And now they got to go to Toronto. I'm pretty sure they'll probably be the underdog. And in game seven, anything can happen. This would not surprise me, guys, if uh, Doc Rivers blew a 3-0 lead. 76ers coach Doc Rivers is the only coach to preside over more than one loss after taking a 3-1 series lead, something that has happened to him three times in his career. I can't believe I'm even saying that. But when Rivers was asked about That playoff history Wednesday, he said there's a need to go back and check the record. Yes, this man wants to make excuses. I'm surprised this guy actually won a title with the Celtics in 2008, but that team was loaded with Hall of Famers. He says this quote, well, it's easy to use me as an example. You got that right. Rivers said after his team finished practice, but I wish y'all would tell the whole story with me. All right. So now he dives into excuses. Excuses on his playoff collapses. Quote, my Orlando team in 2003 was the eight seed. No one gives me credit for getting up against the Detroit Pistons who won the title. That was an eight seed. I want you to go back and look at that roster. I dare you to go back and look at that roster. And you would say, what a hell of a coaching job. Really? I mean, the Clipper team in 2015, I'm going to talk about them. That was that we lost 3-1. Chris Paul didn't play the first two games and was playing on one leg, and we didn't have home court. And then the last one, when the Clippers lost to the Denver Nuggets in 2020, to me, is the one we blew. That was the one I took. We blew it, and that was in the bubble, and anything can happen in the bubble. There's no home court. Game 7 would have been in L.A. So Doc Rivers, a championship coach, making excuses. But folks, I believe if you're good enough to be up 3-1 or 3-0, you're good enough to win the series. You just didn't get it done. Well, let's go back to that 2003 uh, team. Who was the best player on that team? That would be one Tracy McGrady. And last time I checked, Tracy McGrady is in the Hall of Fame. He was a great player. He led the league in scoring that season. Wow. So even it even says here in 2003, Rivers and the Orlando Magic led by future Hall of Famer Tracy McGrady, who won the scoring title that season, took that 3-1 lead on the top seeded Pistons. It was the first season the NBA went back to a best of seven 
uh, first round series. Famously, McGrady, who had never made it out the first round of the playoffs until the end of his career with San Antonio, but he didn't even play with San Antonio. He was in the bench in, in the bleachers. Said after winning game four to take a 3-1 lead, quote, it feels good to get to the second round. I remember him saying that. And he would have been in the second round, but unfortunately, best of seven in the first round. And uh, he used to be uh, best of five. Detroit promptly won the next three games by a combined 61 points <laughs> to actually move on to the second round. Then eventually lost to the uh, New Jersey Nets in the Eastern Conference Finals before going on to win an NBA title the next season. So if I'm not mistaken here, it actually said um, Doc Rivers mistakenly was wrong about this when he said um, that they um, they they blew the lead to the Pistons team and won the title. They didn't win the title. The Pistons won the next season. He was wrong about that. Wow. Now this, 2015, I remember this because this was against the Houston Rockets, okay? In 2015, Rivers took that 3-1 lead on... Coincidentally, current 76ers uh, star point guard James Harden and president of basketball operations Daryl Morey, both of whom were then with the Houston Rockets, only to lose the final three games of that series. That included a stunning collapse at home in game six when Houston outscored the Clippers 40 to 15. And here's the kicker, guys. James Harden was on the bench. I remember watching that game. I don't believe he even played the fourth quarter or something like that. I um, said uh, mostly when Harden watched him from the bench to turn what, what was a 13 point deficit at the start of the quarter into a 12 point victory before closing out the series in game seven. But Doc Rivers wants to make an excuse for that. Now, the Clippers here. It says here, as uh, Rivers said, though, the loss in 2020 is the most memorable member one. The Clippers led by Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, whom they acquired the previous summer and the pick by many to win the championship. Yes, they were one of the favorites. Took a 3-1 lead on the Nuggets, only to blow double digit leads in each of the final three games in the series to be sent home from the NBA's bubble at the Walt Disney World Resort outside Orlando, Florida, in truly shocking fashion. <laughs> the di- I, I've never seen a championship coach and Doc Rivers did win a championship want to make excuses for blowing leads, blowing leads. This is pathetic, man. Doc Rivers is absolutely pathetic. And I would love nothing more than for Doc Rivers to blow a three Oh lead. I, I don't know how many um, teams have actually blown three Oh leads in um, the NBA playoffs. Um, we know that the uh, Yankees did it in 2004 in baseball, they had a 3-0 lead, and they blew that to the um, Boston Red Sox, and the Red Sox ended up winning um, the World Series, man. But what do you guys think it is? What do you guys think of Doc Rivers making pathetic excuses for his history of blowing 3-1 leads? I would not want Doc Rivers to coach my team because chances are, guys, he will find some way to mess it up. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Doc Rivers. How many Hall of Famers has he had? T-Mac. Uh, Paul George is probably getting in. Kawhi's getting in. Chris Paul's getting in. I believe he had Blake Griffin also, if you believe he's a Hall of Famer or not. Definitely perennial all-stars. Five perennial all-stars on those teams. And this man blew it. And he's making excuses. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.